Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about three reasons why it is a good idea, more important now than ever, if you are availing of the power of video content to reach your audiences, whether you're distributing through platforms like YouTube, LinkedIn, or even your own website, to add subtitles and captions to your videos. First reason is accessibility. By adding captions and subtitles to your video, you're allowing people who are deaf or just hard of hearing to be able to read what you're saying rather than just listen to it. Now, we've been seeing for many years that this has moved from being a nice or considerate thing to do to becoming actually a legal requirement for broadcasters, especially for public broadcasters. Now, if you're producing content marketing, it may be the case that it's not a legal requirement for you to do that, but I think there's a strong moral imperative to do it, especially given that, as I'm gonna explain in my next point, it's arguably easier now than at any prior point in history to create captions and subtitles for video content. So by simply adding them, you're going to be allowing anyone who might be interested in what you have to say and you're delivering by video to be able to connect with your message. The second reason is that it's easier than ever before to add captions and subtitles to your video. Now, if you've never added a subtitle file to a video, you might be thinking that it's gonna be an awful lot of work, an awful lot of typing, an awful lot of time. The reality is that these days, subtitles are generally created by a mixture of an automatic speech to text engine and a human fixing up those small little typographical errors in the subtitles. The best news, this technology is pretty advanced so that you can get an 80 to 90% good subtitle the first time and it's free. So if you want to upload your video content to YouTube now, YouTube will automatically decipher what you're saying and produce auto-generated subtitles. And what you can do is go in and just fix the missing, the words that are wrong, the capital letters, and creating subtitles for even a short video like this can become literally only a five minute process. Now, if you don't want to work in YouTube, if you want to edit your videos and add your captions and subtitles on your local computer, video editors are often have this feature as well, such as Caden Live has a pretty good speech recognition engine and I can run it through my video in a few minutes and have automatically generated subtitles and all I need to do then is fix them. Final reason why I think it's a great idea to add captions and subtitles to your video content is that there is a there's a rollout ongoing of a YouTube feature called automatic caption translation. Now, if you're using YouTube on your computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, and you go into the captions menu, you're gonna see a little option there if there is a subtitle file for auto translate. Now, what this allows users to do is automatically translate the captions from the file they were added in to their native language or their mother tongue. Now, this works if you have one human generated subtitle file on the video. In other words, it's not gonna work if it's just auto generated subtitles. You need to go and create one caption or subtitle file. It doesn't matter whether that's in French, Spanish, English, or Russian, whatever language your video is in, go in and create one good subtitle file. Then users in any other country, if you are if you have someone who speaks Swahili, they can go onto that YouTube link and automatically translate those subtitles and understand the video that way. Now, if you think about it, by going to the five minutes of effort it takes to add subtitles to your video, you are potentially expanding the pool of people who can reach your content by hundreds of millions of people, if not even billions, because uh, people who speak those other languages around the world. Now, for five minutes of effort in creating subtitles, it's a pretty good marketing ROI. Definitely worth doing. Final question people have about subtitles is whether it's better to add hard-coded subtitles into your video or whether it's better to upload your subtitles as an SRT file so that users can toggle the subtitles on or off. If you don't know what that is, if you've ever been watching a YouTube video and you see that there are subtitles, 
you can click on a caption button. Now, I'm adding both subtitles to this video just for the purpose of demonstrating. I think it would be a bit ironic to talk, to record a video about subtitles and not add subtitles to it. However, in general, I think the best practice these days is to simply add embedded subtitles. The reason is if people don't need to read the subtitles, they don't need to have them clutter up space on the screen. And also those um, embedded subtitles, as opposed to the ones hard-coded into the video are machine readable and if and when we have more third-party extensions that are able to parse and translate subtitles you want to you want to make their work easy for them and the best way to do that is to make them machine readable and that's why again creating your subtitles as an srt file a subtitle file and uploading them to your distribution platforms makes an awful lot of sense I hope these uh, three reasons have convinced you that uh, now is a great time to start adding subtitles to your video content, whether you're producing video content for yourself, for your uh, company's product marketing or any other purpose. It expands greatly the amount of people who are able to engage with your content and for a small amount of effort, there's potentially a big payoff. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope it was informative. If you do want to receive more videos from me, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a great day.